Once upon a time, in a quiet meadow, there lived a tiny mouse named Milo. He had soft gray fur, round ears, and the brightest little eyes. But what made Milo special was that he loved the moon. Every night, when the stars twinkled, Milo would climb up a tall hill to whisper hello to the moon. One evening, Milo noticed the moon was hiding behind a cloud. Oh no, he squeaked. What if the moon is sad? So, with a brave little heart, Milo decided to cheer it up. Imagine turning a simple bedtime story into a colorful animated video in just a few clicks. No animation skills needed, no video editing skills needed, and no big software needed. Whether you're a teacher, a parent, or kids content creator, I'm going to show you exactly how to take any kid's story and transform it into a full animated short video using only AI tools. And the best part is that you can use your own characters, build a magical world, and even create create a full series or in just a few minutes. So let's dive in. Step number one, we need to come up with best bedtime stories for kids. And to do this, we can simply come over to ChatGPT. And here we need to paste in a detailed prompt that is going to help ChatGPT give us a good number of ideas that we can use to create bedtime stories. So I have this prompt that I've prepared. I will leave it in the description below that you can just copy and paste into ChatGPT from there just hit enter and ChatGPT will give you bedtime stories following your request when we observe carefully the prompt says i want you to act as a children's bedtime story writer so number one we've given ChatGPT a role and number two here it says write a short original bedtime story suitable for children aged here you need to insert a specific age group that you are getting from there you describe everything that you want your story to have and the type of message that it must send. Now, before you paste this prompt into ChatGPT, I would advise you that you go through it thoroughly and edit it to your preference, making sure that it carries the message and tone that you would love to send out there. Once it was done, this is the story that ChatGPT provided me with. And the title of the story is Milo the Moonlight Mouse. From there, we will need a prompt that we can use to generate a character for our story. We can give ChatGPT this simple prompt that says, Now give me a prompt to generate a character for the story above. And once ChatGPT is done generating a prompt for your character, you can go through it and check if it is in the exact model you would love to create your character in. Maybe you prefer a 2D character or a 3D character. If it has emphasized that it has to be a 2D character or an anime, you can change that and get exactly what you're looking for. And once we are done generating a story and a prompt for our character, it takes us to the next step where we need to create a character for our story and to create a consistent character we can use ChatGPT itself or we can use any AI tool of our choice provided we achieve the consistency that we need but the tool that I prefer using is OpenArt AI from here what you want to do is create a character that will be consistent throughout your video not a character who will be changing features or clothes time and again but you want to build a brand with the same character throughout the series of videos you'll be creating. So what you can simply do is come to character and select create character. Here what you want to do is click start with description and from there give a name to your character. According to the story that we have our character's name is Milo or Milo depending with how you pronounce it. We type it in there. From there we paste in the description of our character. Just go to ChatGPT, just copy the prompt that it provided you and paste the prompt there. From there what you want to do is select or type in the style of your character or you can select from these pre-made styles and create your character from there and once you select your style all you have to do is click create preview you can play with different styles and different prompts and see which one generates the best results for you i love how this character looks so i can select it and click create character if you do not like how it looks you can still click on regenerate character and open up will regenerate the character for you once we generate our character there are two ways in which we can create a video using this platform. The first way is by going back to ChatGPT and 
asking it to give us prompts that we can use to generate different scenes for this entire story. By telling ChatGPT to say, give me prompts I can use to generate scenes for the entire story, including professional camera angles and with a 3D pixel style background and hit enter. And once it's done, go through the entire prompts where you feel that there is no specific camera angle, you can simply tweak that. And from here, we go back to open up AI and we select our character so that we can create our images. Now, what we simply need to do is here in the prompt box, we need to go back to ChatGPT and copy the first prompt come back to open up and paste the prompt here. Once that is done, we scroll down a little bit and we select the aspect ratio to the preferred one. Once that is done, we just hit create. Oh, there we go. Here is our first image. If we do not like the image, we can still regenerate it. And if we like the image, the only thing I would ask you to do is to upscale the image by clicking on the automate upscale button here so that you get that high quality, high detailed image. From there, just go back to ChatGPT. Copy the next prompt, you come back to open up AI and you scroll up again and paste your prompt here, scroll down, leave the settings just like the way they are and hit create. Once our images are generated, we need to convert them into a video and the way we can do this is by clicking on this video icon on top and it will bring us to this interface. Here on our left, we'll be able to see the image which has been selected that we need to convert into a video and on top here, we'll see the model that has been selected. We've got Seed Dance 1.0 which has been selected by default but we can change. We've got all these different models that we can generate our video videos in, including the new model that has just been added 1.2.2. Let's select 1.2. From there, here we need to provide a prompt that describes what our character is doing. I can simply go back to ChatGPT and copy the exact prompt I used to generate my image in. If that does not generate exactly what I'm looking for, I can ask ChatGPT to generate a video prompts that I can paste in the prompt box. So we just paste in the prompt that we used to generate our image from there. We can turn on the auto sound just to get a feeling of what it would generate for us. From here, we can describe exactly what is happening. If we do not know the exact sound, we can still go back to ChatGPT and ask it to give us some background audio ideas for each scene. And from there, all we have to do is copy the type of sound in that particular scene and go back to open up AI and paste the sound description there, turn it on. And from there, select the resolution for your video. Once it's selected, just hit create. From here, what we can simply do is delete this image, click in the box, click on history, select the image you would love to animate. Next, click on confirm. And here again, paste in a prompt that describes how you want your video to be animated. Just go back to ChatGPT, copy the prompt for that particular scene and go back to open it and paste the prompt here. From there, click on sound and paste in a prompt that describes the type of the sound that you want to generate for this particular scene. So you can go back to ChatGPT again, scroll down to where the sound prompts are, copy the prompt, back to open up AI and paste the prompt here. From there, scroll down a little bit and a click create. And when our video is ready, we can play to see how it looks. From there, all we have to do is download these videos into our PC. From here, before we assemble our videos in order in an editing tool, we need to generate an audio sound that fully narrates the entire story. And how we can achieve this is by going back to ChatGPT, scroll up, copy the entire story, and go to 11 Labs. Here, just paste in the entire story that you've copied. And from there, just select a voice that will be suitable for your entire story. Once you find your voice, just click Create. Once upon a time in a quiet meadow. If you like how it sounds, what you simply have to do is click the download button here at the bottom. Now, before I show you how to edit the entire story using an editing tool, here is another method that you can use to create these amazing bedtime stories for your first lesson. YouTube channel. The second method that we can use to create our bedtime story videos is by coming to character vlog here. Just hit create and here what we can simply do is number one upload an image of our character or we can select the one that we just created within OpenAD itself. So we just click 
apply and we'll see our character here and we'll see the name of our character written down in the prompt box here now we've got some options of the type of stories that we can create here in the prompt box but we're not going to use either of these but we'll go back to chat gpt and we'll copy our entire story and we'll paste it here you can either paste the entire story or you can just give it an idea of the type of a story you want to create you can try all these methods and see the type of videos that it generates for you. From here, all we have to do is select the aspect ratio. We leave it to 16 by 9, the standard YouTube aspect ratio. And on the background music here, we leave it to auto select, allowing the AI to to go through the entire story that we have and select a best background music that will suit the type of videos we are creating. If you do not want the AI to, to auto-select a music for you, you would rather choose it by yourself, you can simply click on this drop-down arrow and here you can upload a music file by clicking on the upload button or you can just paste in the link of your background music and that's if it's generated from soon once that is done when we click on the advanced setting here we can select a model that our images will be generated in and a model our videos will be generated in i'll leave them just like the way they are and click create a story and open art will create the entire story board for you generate the entire images for your story and create videos for the entire story this is the entire story that it has generated for us the video so this is the entire story that it has generated for us the video and the background music but it does not have the narrator's voice let's play to see how it looks Okay, that's just so fantastic. If there is any part you would love to edit or add a clip, you can simply come to the edit story here and it will open up the editing interface. Here you'll see all the videos that have been generated. This is your media panel and this is your timeline. This is how your videos have been arranged. If there is any video you would love to edit, for example, the first one here, when you select it, you'll see this button here that says video and the still image. This is the prompt that has been used to generate your image. You can regenerate the image by clicking on the regenerate button here and you can also regenerate the video by clicking on the regenerate button here from there you can choose one image or a video that you prefer this is the easiest method you can use to create better story videos but coming to the first step i showed you all we have to do is download all these video files that we've generated and assemble them in any editing tool of our choice we drop our narrator's audio in the timeline and we begin arranging our media files in a chronological order add some caption to our video add some lighting effects and adding some perfect transition suitable for the entire story and once we are done this is how the final product looks once upon a time in a quiet meadow there lived a tiny mouse named milo he had soft gray fur round ears and the brightest little eyes but what made milo special was that he loved the moon every night when the stars twinkled milo would climb up a tall hill to whisper hello to the moon one evening, Milo noticed the moon was hiding behind a cloud. Oh no, he squeaked. What if the moon is sad? So, with a brave little heart, Milo decided to cheer it up. He packed his satchel with shiny things, a silver button, a sparkly pebble, and his favorite marble, and climbed the hill. When he reached the top, Milo held up the shiny treasures and said, Dear moon, I brought you gifts to make you smile. Just then, the wind blew gently, and the cloud floated away. The moon peeked out, glowing even brighter than before. Milo giggled. You were just playing hide-and-seek. The stars twinkled like they were laughing too. Milo snuggled under a leaf and whispered, Good night, moon. I'll see you tomorrow. And as the meadow grew quiet and still, Milo dreamed of glowing stars and dancing moonbeams. Moral, even small acts of kindness can light up the night. 
And if you have found value in this tutorial, let me know in the comment section below. And if you have any suggestions, I would love to hear from you. From here, let me see you in this next video where you can create amazing AI animated videos. God bless you.